Hi, Dr. Mario with BizCrown Media. So there are still some businesses and possibly some people out there that still don't take advantage of social media, that still don't understand the opportunities that social media present. And in many instances, at times, many people actually feel they're too cool <laughs> for social media. And I've been in several meetings. I can't tell you the number of meetings I've been in uh, where maybe the president of the company or the head of the company goes, well, if I'm too active on social media, is that me playing like lower than myself? <laughs> Which I got to tell you is very, very funny. So if you know of anybody who feels that social media is still not the best way or doesn't know how to engage or they feel they're too cool for social media, this is a good message for them. What we're going to look at is actually technology over the years and how social media has uh, 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 entered into that and what roles it plays. So let's go back to when the phones probably first came out. Remember? Probably don't. But when the phones came out, I'm sure there were businesses that phone people then, phone brokers approached and said, hey, we can help you get set up on a phone. And you know, this phone on your business, this phone is going to help you do this and this phone's going to help you do that. And the business owner is going, no, yeah, I just don't, I don't know. Let me you know, the birds, we send the birds, man. And the birds, they fly, they deliver the messages. I don't think we need phones. <laughs> I'm sure you got that. Now, also, there was a time probably when websites were huge, you know, and somebody would walk into your web in your business and go, hey, do you, you, you really need a website for your business? And you're going, no, I don't. We got the phone book and all that stuff and now so two things can you be a business now without a phone can you be a respectable business without a website so what i'm trying to get to here is that in different forms of uh, uh, uh communications that we've had over the years marketing has played a huge role in it so if you're feeling you're too cool to be on social media you're actually missing out <laughs> You're actually missing out opportunities. So I had a strategy session with a realtor. Um, and it was funny because the light bulb went up. Just like, whoa, I get it now. So it's funny because she said when she started as a realtor, text messages were just the main thing then. We're just Text messages were just starting to be the, the main thing then. And a lot of the realtors that she joined didn't believe in it. They're like, no, text message, I feel that's too invasive, this one and that one. And she's going, what? Text message is the way, man. She said what that did for her was opened up her book of business a whole lot more than those people. Why? Because she was uh, uh, extra communicating, right? There was another avenue to communicate that was convenient with the times, that she leveraged, and that made the light bulb go, because she said, I will tell you, I closed a whole ton of deals just because I was willing to text or use text messages. I didn't find it invasive. I was uh, uh, comfortable with the technology, and I realized a whole lot of my customers or clients were also comfortable with it. And that made the light bulb go on her head, and I tell you, she's doing excellently well on social media now because she equated both. You know, she seemed to realize, oh, this was what I was missing. So if you feel you're too cool for social media, you're not engaging and stuff, it's two things. It might feel you don't know how to engage, but that doesn't save you. That just means you're the guy in the room who's not socializing, one. But then you're also missing out on opportunities. You're actually thinking you're too cool, but the general perception out there is that you're not. You're not even part of the conversation. So it's very important that you take advantages, not just of social media, but new technologies so that you could get the best out of it because a lot of the masses are used to it. You might as well use it to reach them. So if you know of anybody who's too cool or feels, I don't know about social media for my business, this is a good message for them because they will be getting a whole lot more than they are now.